sell them like hotcakes. So if you want one of these, <laughs> I'm just telling you, can I walk over? So I own this at home. It is without a doubt the best thing I've ever gotten in our garden show. Mine looks like this now. Um, we have a couple pictures we'll show you later of mine um, earlier in the season, but now it's, it's just, it's thriving. And because it's braided with three separate tropical hibiscus plants, you get three colors. It's braided down below. It's gonna come to you like that. And then all you do is you, as you sit back, look at the color. Everybody that comes to my house and sits out on the porch is like, where did you get it? And I'm like, isn't it unbelievable? You get so much bang for the buck with $59.95. I'm telling you, it's already established when it comes to you. It's beautiful, easy to maintain. I don't do nothing realistically to mine. I think once last year, I sprayed it just because I had a couple of little buds on one of the buds, but I, it's nothing, right? Easy, and it is beautiful. And listen, I'm, uh, as, as, as much as I know a little bit about gardening, I'm not, you know, I, I don't, I'm not out there all the time watching things. So this is gonna make your life very, very easy and fun and beautiful all at the same time. All right, we were just talking about bugs. Let's talk about Naturally Green. I own this. It's one of my favorite products that we have here. It's easily in my, it's easily in my top five. Um, I love the smell of it because it's a, a bio-based cedar oil product. But here's the thing about it. Bugs don't like it. In fact, bugs hate it. That cedar oil is a way to repel them. And if you're wondering what kind of bugs, what about mosquitoes? What about gnats? No see -ums. Uh, Every kind of creepy crawly bug that you don't love, they don't love. The arachnid family in general does not like no more bugs because of the cedar. Ticks, fleas. You got the issues, you wanna go out hiking in the woods and you're worried about deer ticks? Spray this on your boots, spray it on your backpack, spray it on your pants. It smells like a woodsy fresh cedar set. It is beautiful. I would buy this in cologne. That's how nice it is. It is only $36.15 today. What you're gonna get is the jumbo 32 ounce concentrate. Now that you use a little bit and mix it with ordinary water and put it in the container. All right, and then you spray. What can I spray with this? You can spray your pet's fur. You can spray your kid's shoes. You can spray it in your hands and put it in your hair. Any of your border areas, you can spray it there. Your sleeping bag when you're camping, uh, threshold areas of your home. Spray it right on your furniture, right on your bed, on your pet's bed. If you have deal uh, issues with uh, you know any uh, creepy crawlies around your bedroom, spray it in. Jumbo 32 ounce concentrate, you give it a shake, you pour a little bit in here and fill it with water. We're also gonna give you the travel size to be able to take with you when you are traveling again. I put this in my backpack when I'm hiking, always take this with you. If you love bugs, it's okay, you just don't want them on your person or in your space, this is the product that you need. $36.15, I am on auto ship. I reorder this all the time and I spray the whole house. In fact, I have a cedar closet. I spray it right on the cedar planks and it absorbs. My closet smells amazing. Linda, you know how much I love this stuff. Yeah. I told you, I'd, if they bottled it, I'd, put, I'd use it as cologne. It's that well, you great. know, you, you actually do use it as cologne because that is an ingredient that they put in a lot of colognes, which is cedar. You'll see that, you know, in the packaging. Yeah. So you're absolutely right. One of the things I want you all to do when you get this, now you're going to get the original formula, right? You're going to get 32 ounces of this. I want you to pour this right into your travel bottle. And like I said, bring this, put this in your golf bag. I keep it in the pocket of my car, right on that side, on the side door, that little pocket down there. I always have this with me. When do you use the, the original formula and when do you dilute it for maintenance? I'm going to tell you. You see a bug, you use the original formula. Once you have taken care of the bugs and you want to do maintenance, then what I want you to do is take four ounces of the product, put it in here and pour it right here and put the rest with water. And then you're gonna have a solution like this. Now, where do we spray it? Because this doesn't stain. What I like about this is that you can just spray this anywhere, right? You can spray this on your furniture. It's not gonna stain indoor, outdoor doesn't matter. You also wanna make sure that you get where the bugs are. And where are they? Well, guess what? A lot of them are, it's on their counter, right? They'll come in those ghost ants. We get a lot of people that say, hey, how do you get rid of the ghost ants? No more bugs, you know why? Because there are no chemicals. This is deep free. Remember when we were kids, Guy? I don't know about you, but like, you know, you fog your home, you, 
you know, uh, this stuff here, the, the orange one, I remember my folks would go, okay, hold your breath and cover your face while they sprayed me down. This is absolutely cedar, right? Cedar oil. This is a product that's made in the USA. The cedar comes from Texas. This is a woman-owned business, which I love. And all this is, is the big major ingredient is cedar. And how that works is that when bugs smell cedar, they breathe through their shell, their ectoskeletal. So when they smell it, it kind of suffocates them. So what that means is they don't come in your home. They don't come in the area where that cedar is. So you don't have to go to that moral dilemma of, do I put it in a jar? Do I take it outside? Do I step up? No. Ticks, fleas, stink bugs, ants, all kinds of ants, fire ants, ghost ants, dust mites. This is great to spray on your bed, your pillows, roaches, mosquitoes, noceums, gnats, flies, horse flies. Folks, I am one of the, I, when a bug sees me, they yell out buffet, right? And they will go on me. But what I do is when I use my no more bugs and I am hiking, one of the things that I love about this is that I spray it all over my body. I spray my shoes, my pants, everything. I even put it in my hair, okay? And when I go on a hike, I can hear them. I can hear those mosquitoes, but they don't land. They come yeah. here, they smell me, they go away. It is remarkable. Yeah, it really is. And and we have it available with AutoShip. 092-880 is your item number on this. I spray it everywhere. I, I never hesitate. You know, a lot of other products that you may have, you worry about it, right? You wonder, do they have that DEET stuff in them? Uh, they're, 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 they try to mask it with a perfumey smell. It's oily and nasty. What I love about this too is you don't, it, it's not an oily product. It actually goes on and it, it, it rubs right in and it's very nice. It's actually, even on your skin, it's really, really nice. And you can use it on your dogs, on your cats. If you've got horses like Tom <laughs> a, a little earlier, plants in camping areas, gardeners around your garden, fishing, wherever you go, tennis, put it on your racket, put it on, on, your, on your tennis shorts. Golfers, put it on your golf bag. I mean, anywhere you need to put it, you can put it and you can do it safely. Hey, listen, my, my mission in this world is not to kill all the bugs. I'll never swat enough mosquitoes to make a difference. I'll never step on enough cockroaches. And then I got that mess to clean up. Nobody wants that, spray this. Within a couple of days, you'll see the, the efficacy of it because bugs will not go near where they sense this. All right, as Linda said, they're all exoskeleton, which means they breathe through their shells and it, it clogs, it's a behavioral thing. They will not come back, they, they, they scat away, they won't come in your property. Spray it around the borders of your home inside. Spray it, if your pet has a little cute little handkerchief like that, spray it on that. You know, uh, animals, horse flies uh, will go right through a, a pet's skin or yours. It'll protect you with that. You can sit by the, the, the water without worrying about all the mosquitoes which are attracted to water areas, right? It smells amazing. It literally smells like the woods, but but fresh. Um, it, it, it people's, and that's why people in pet love it so much. Um, shoes, uh, socks, anywhere with deer ticks. You know, my dad got Lyme's disease many, many, many years ago. And I remember it was a nightmare and it was a deer tick. If, he, if we had had this then, he could have sprayed it on his boots because he used to hike all the time. If you're a hiker, if you like to take walks and you're like, I'm not gonna walk tonight. I know the mosquitoes are gonna eat me up. And for some reason, they, they really are, are drawn, I think it's blood type or whatever, drawn to some people more than others. I know uh, almost every woman I've ever met is always like, I don't know what it is about. What, why mosquitoes chase me around? I don't know. Maybe it's a chemical thing. I don't know. All I know is it's a nightmare and you can't enjoy, you can't enjoy a picnic. You can't enjoy camping. Do you ever watch any of these, uh, these nature shows and stuff like that or, or those shows in the wild where they leave people ar uh, around? You know, especially the, the naked show. It's like, oh, that's, who, do you pay a million dollars for this? Because the biggest struggle they have is with insects. This is gonna protect you and it's not gonna kill them unless you directly spray it on them. It's gonna keep them away. And that to me is the whole prevention thing. That's the smart way to get rid of them. Now, here's what we're doing here at HSN, which is a really good deal. Cause a lot of you are still going, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. 90 days to try it. Three months, you try it. If it doesn't work, you return it. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Maybe you've got different bugs than some other people, but I'm telling you, it's gonna work. You try it for three months and see if it doesn't make a difference. Linda, my favorite thing about this too, I never would ever spray anything on my furniture or my bed before. 
because I was yeah. always worried that it would stain, that it would, I don't want, you know, the smell was bad. When I, when I, I will put this on twice a week on my mattress. And when I get into bed, it's the, it's pleasant. It's not, it's not an overwhelming scent. It neutralizes quickly, but I love the scent of the cedar. It's a really, really good scent. It's not perfumey. It just smells great. And I can put it on places that I would never put other bug sprays. Yes, one of the things that I like to do uh, is about two or three times a year, I will take all the sheets, I'll take all the bedding off, and I spray down the mattress. I spray down my pillows because anything that could be or is crawling on my bed, I want to make sure that they are not doing it again. And then I vacuum up my bed right after that dries. One of the things, too, I'd like to tell you all is how do bugs get in? Okay, you want to spray this around your doorway, your windows, around the perimeter of your home. I also, you're getting a couple of sponges with this. They're going to look like this, but you put them in water and they look like this. What I want you to do is when you throw up those windows and you have the screens, spray the product on your sponge and wipe this down. No seams can go right through that. Little bitty bugs can go right through your screens. My friend Julia, I said, Julia, you got it. If you're being eaten up at nighttime with those no seams inside your home, do this. She did it. No more no seams. Also, inside your home, I want you to think about the places where those cockroaches and where they hang out. Guess where they hang out? In your drawer. So take your original formula, spray down your drawer. You can use your sponge, wipe this down once it's dry, then put your silverware back in. You mentioned a uh, guy that uh, the cedar closets and maybe a cedar chest, like I have this little small cedar chest. The reason why that we used to do that uh, or that your grandparents do that and we still do that is because when you put when you put something in those cedar chests or that closet, you don't have a moth or something like this that eats through. This, <laughs> look at this. I have like three holes in this sweater from not having a cedar oil or a cedar-based uh, closet or, or chest. So that is one of the things. So what you want to do is when you store your sweaters for, you know, just past winter, spray it down. When you go outside, you mentioned going outside. Here's a tip. Spray down your visor. If you're gardening, spray your hat, spray the area that you're going to be working. And again, when you're hiking, you can just keep this right in your pouch while you're hiking. But remember, this is something that's not gonna stain. I talk about animals too. You can spray it right on their pet bed, right? Spray the pet bed down and all you know then is that those fleas and the ticks, they're going to be completely gone from their bed right because that's exactly where if I'll, I'll get my little guy over here and i'll show you how to spray down a dog love it i love it i want to show everybody because i said before one of my biggest uh, the pet peeves with with you know bug spray back in the day was it's really oily and it just is nasty uh, and i don't like that feeling on my hands it's just awful it gets it gets all watch this i'm gonna spray some on my hand and i want you to see there it is, so it, it starts like that, but watch. You rub it in completely, and it completely disappears. Notice my hand isn't shiny. I can still, you know, do my fingers, right? It's, it's really great. It's almost more like a, like a liquefied cream than it is like an oily spray. And you will put this everywhere. Put it on your clothes, put it anywhere you think the bugs are gonna get you when you're outdoors. But remember, inside, here's what I do. I take it and I spray it along the sliders of my, of my sliding window. And, I get, and I'm telling you, mosquitoes won't come in. They sense it, you spray it right on the screens of your windows. Uh, because Linda will tell you, those no CMs will go right through your screen. They're that tiny. Spray it on your pet's bed. Your, your pet will love it and your pet will smell good. I mean, the, I swear, I, I was sniffing it while you guys were talking. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. When you order, you're gonna get a couple of these. They look like little sticks, just Linda might've mentioned it. Put them in water and they'll, and basically they turn into these round sponges. You use that so you can go inside cabinets uh, or inside like your sock drawer or whatever it is, or your, uh, you know, your um, underwear drawer, whatever it is. You can use it in there. The stuff is amazing. I, I am completely behind it. 90 days to try it. $36.15 is a steal on this. This, this bottle right here could probably last you an entire summer. Get on the auto ship. 
I know you'll love it, but at least try it. 092880. Linda, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Charlie. I just want to tell you all, you're going to spray from the tail up to the face. And yeah. when you get around the face, you put it on your hands yep. and you put it on their oh, ears. Oh, get those ears. He Gotta get those ears. It. I bet That's they right. do. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I love this product. Anyway. All right, we're moving on. Where are we heading? Oh, brand new item. I got to tell you, we, we mentioned this earlier and um, it's a slam dunk. People are already buying this. I love being outside of my patio, but I, there's no place out there to run a cord without an extension cord to get a beautiful, beautiful light. And not only that, you can dim this light. It comes with a remote control. You can even dim it. Normally, when you talk about um, rechargeable lights, you can't do that. You can dim this light. It has an automatic timer, two, four, six, eight hours. It'll turn off. It is adaptable, so you can use it as a floor lamp. It'll go right through your picnic table to use it as your picnic table lamp. You can take out one of the segments and attach it to the base and make it a tabletop lamp. It's impervious to weather. It is a steal at $129.95. It's on sale today. I love it. I'm dying to get one of these. It's beautiful. It's very, I mean, even architecturally speaking, it's gorgeous. This is the light right here. Now, obviously, we're not going to be really that effective at showing you outside because it's really bright out here, but it comes with a remote control. Um, no wires, no cords, nothing to plug in. You ready for the, the clincher? 23 hours uh, at full power on a charge. 23 hours. That's awesome. I mean, that is an amazing rechargeable battery that's built into this that gives you 23 hours and that's on high. You ready for this? If you put it on the low setting, a week, a week without having to charge it. Not only that, I mean, this looks like something a designer would pick out for you. So let me switch you over to a woman who uh, wears a whole bunch of different hats, including designer, Miss Tracy Kane. Tracy, this thing is awesome. Isn't this amazing, guy? I'm so excited. This is um, incredible. So it's your light, your patio, three-in-one outdoor rechargeable cordless lamp. I mean, look here. I have no wires, no cords, no hazards. I can use this anywhere. So whether I want to use it in my front patio right now, I can put it on the back deck, bring it out to a boat. You can put it around your pool. Any place that you don't have a plug, this is so perfect. And as Guy said, it comes with your remote control. So similar to, you know, all those fancy homes that have those smart home hubs that have remote control, all their lighting on remote controls, well, you have the same ease with this at the same time. And you can actually set this to control two lights at once. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. You know what I'm impressed with? is the design of it. I'm, I'm watching you there and, and you know, normally when we think about outdoor lightning, we think about string lights, right? Which are, which are, are don't get me wrong, love string lights, festive, but what if you wanna go outside and with a glass of wine and you wanna read? Or, or you wanna just go over stuff on your computer or your tablet, right? You don't want string lights, you want like a real lamp. And that's what this is, Tracy. It is, and I, you can use this indoors or outdoors and it's weatherproof, guys. So the shade is actually made out of Sunbrella fabric. You know that they're the leader in outdoor fabrics. It's powder coated iron, and then the fabric and the battery housing are weatherproof. So maybe this gets caught out in the rainstorm or the sprinkler hits it. You don't have to worry because it's still great and will work just perfectly. Yeah, they, the shade is, is made of the Sunbrella material, which is meant to be outdoors um, uh, because it's impervious to, to the different weather conditions and to the sunlight, so you don't have to worry about it. My issue would be how many people are gonna wanna bring this inside and use it inside as well on a covered porch or patio, but don't worry if it gets wet. I love the design <clears throat> of where the uh, shade hits. You see there's a little scoop right here it's really beautiful and remember this is all cast material this is not plastic or anything like that this is uh, iron material at the base uh, down here all the way up there's a segment here that you can take out uh, and just by unscrewing it and then bring the lamp down so now it's a tabletop lamp another cool thing if you come behind me take a walk over here you can actually take the lid off the top and use that as a little hook so you could hang it on a little shepherd's hook just like that see what we did so now if you want to put it on your own um, pole or fixture, you can do that as well with the little shepherd's hook attachment. It's USB charged. And remember, 23 hours on high. 
Now, another big, big feature, and Tracy, you know this, is the fact that you can dim it. So when you're outside, if you want mood lighting, you can actually use the dimmer with this as well. And most lights like that, you, you would never have the ability to dim it. It would be like on and off, right? Or high right. and low. Yeah, okay. so that remote control is as unique as the light fixture itself. You have four settings going from low to max. Then you have arrows. So let's say you have it on low, but you just want it a little bit brighter. You have an arrow to raise it 10%. So you can fully customize this. And then you have your timer on there as well. So you can set this anywhere from two hours to eight hours. It's going to shut off automatically for you. And then at the bottom, there's a battery power saver mode. And what does that mean? Well, if you put that on, it's going to preserve your battery for a week you, on a full charge. You'll get a full week out of that charge. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I, got, I just grabbed the remote. I wasn't sure if we could see it on your camera, but I'll hold it really close so that uh, Dee can get a good shot of it. So this is what Tracy was talking about. So on and off, pretty f easy to figure that, right? Green means go, red means stop. Uh, you've got a timer that'll go two hours, four hours, six hours, or eight hours, right? And then you can adjust or modulate the amount of light that you want with the little arrow. Just push the arrow up or down, right? Simple, there's a battery saver mode which will extend the time in between charges it's phenomenal and it's compact so you can do I, I love remote controls remote controls are the best so if you're if you're across the patio on the barbecue you can turn the light on in the corner for your sweetie while she's over there uh, you know reading or, or doing whatever she's doing or he's doing it makes life so easy get it home you got 90 days to look at it i think tracy what people are going to be really really amazed at is the quality of construction the sunbrella um, shade which is heavy duty I mean, this thing is heavy duty. This is made for outdoors. The beauty of how it's designed inside, <clears throat> the fact that you've got LED permanent bulb, never have to replace that ever, never gets hot. I'm holding it with my hand. And it gives you an idea of the type of light that comes out as it shones upon my hand, that it's beautiful, soft lighting. And you've got uh, different settings. So if you wanted to, like I said, you can lower it. I'm lowering it now. See how it lowers down? and I can raise it back up. I mean, it's hard to tell out here in the bright light, but you get the idea. Turn it on, turn it off. Simple with my remote control. And then having this extender uh, that allows you to turn it into three different lamps, right? You can hang it as a lamp. You can have a full out um, floor lamp. And I love that they put it in between a, um, a picnic table so you can use it like at your picnic table when you're eating. Cause nobody wants, nobody wants citronella candles while they're eating. Nobody wants to smell that. In fact, look, we've, we've got it set up back here on a table, beautiful, standing up over there. And I can turn it, they're actually on right now, but it's so sunshiny out here, you can't really tell. But I'll turn it back on so you can see. All right, and then you can see that now, right? Sorta, of. yeah, there you go. And then, isn't it pretty? And then over here, I love that they put it on uh, one of those big shepherd's hook pole things, whatever, and we just hooked it right up there. So three options and it's only $43 on FlexPay. Get it home, try it out. Y'all must have a space outside that you would love to light up or maybe even if it's on a you know porch uh, deck patio, maybe you live in an apartment and you have a little tiny space outside and all you got out there is a spotlight. Nobody wants to be out under a spotlight. You only believe spotlight's good for crooks. I don't want to be entertaining and, and you know just doing that. This is for this is like a real designer inspired indoor lamp that you can bring outside, Tracy. And that's what I love. I love the clean lines, and most of all, the light that comes off it is beautiful. This is really taking that lighting to that next level. Like we've seen all of the lights you can put in your ground, like I said, the string lights, but this is taking that indoor feel and warming up your outdoors and making it so ambient. You know, you're able to dim it. But I have all the pieces pulled apart here because I just want you to be able to see how easy this is. So this is your battery pack. This is where your USB port is going to just plug right into, and this is what you're gonna plug into the top of your lamp. And it just plugs right in there and it'll go right on. And then your cover that covers over that battery pack. This is the finial that fits over that little hook. So if you want to hang this as a chandelier, this is how it's done. When you don't want that, you just screw that on. And then when you're putting your top back onto the top of your lamp, there is a tiny little black arrow that you're going to line up on the top of your lamp where it says unlock and lock. You want to 
line that up with your unlock arrow and just screw that right on. So easy. easy. And again, no cord. So take this anywhere. Think about all those places that you don't have a plug in your home or around your pool, around your backyard, you know, your front patio, any place that you want to use this, you can because there's nothing tying you down. There's no cords, there's no electrical hazards. You know, it's great too, Tracy, even if you went like camping and you wanted to bring a real light, or if you went like, I know here we have Fort DeSoto and there's tons of picnic tables and people like to eat out there uh, after sunset, you've got a real light, right? You don't have to worry about eating in a darkly, a dimly lit area. You have a real light that you can take anywhere. Um, it's perfect for parties and all that. You know, we're gonna be doing all that before you know it. Get one of these before they sell out. Get it home. When you see it, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that was a really, really good purchase. And the flexibility of changing it tall, short, Putting it on a hook, hanging it outside is really, really ideal. Tracy Kane, appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for calling and Skyping in with us. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I love this product. I can't say enough about it. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful quality. I would buy this in a second. I mean, I really, I'm, I'm really thinking about it because I, I just have string lights outside. I think this would be beautiful on my property. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks, guy. See you later. All right, 711533, look what's coming up. Can you see it? Come on over. Look, 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 there it is. You wanna own one of these? Over 100 people have already selected it. I have 550 left. Get the tropically braided hibiscus. Be the best plant you ever bought. Coming up next, be right back. They say home is where the heart is. So when I'm at home, I want it to feel warm and welcoming and full of things that make me smile and make life just a little bit easier. Join me today at 10 a.m. for your weekly look at the latest ways to make your home a haven. Have questions? Find the answers at hsn.com. Search customer service to see our frequently asked questions. Use the search field to locate what you need. Want to know more? We're always here for you. Email, live chat, or call us. Customer service, anytime, anyway. It's going to be a star-studded event during HSN's Stars of Summer Weekend. Join us for some of our biggest names, including Chef Curtis Stone, Juliana Rancic, Bethany Frankel, Iman, Rhonda Shear, and Susie Orman as they bring you your summertime essentials. You'll get what you need for your kitchen, your wardrobe, and even your budget. Don't miss what HSN's brightest stars have in store for your summer during our Stars of Summer Weekend, May 16th and 17th, only on HSN and at hsn.com. All right, welcome back. So we're gonna move out into the yard and we're gonna talk about power tools. Now, most of you out there, if you've got, you know, if you've got 10 acres of property, then maybe a, a compact um, electric mower is not for you. But if you've got like, you know, a half acre or so to a quarter acre or small yard like I do, this is perfect. Uh, it comes to us from Earthwise. This is our 14 inch corded electric mower. Gone is gas, no worries about that, right? You don't have to worry about smoke or fumes or putting oil in it, never have to deal with that. All you gotta do is plug it in, adjust the height, and start mowing your grass. It is that easy. It is the most portable, lightweight um, um, mower that we've ever carried. It weighs 20 pounds. The average mower, to give you an idea, weighs closer to 100 pounds. This weighs 20 pounds. Plug it into your extension cord and start cutting the grass. It comes with a grass catcher, a non-combustion 120 volt motor um, with a two year warranty, a detachable um, a mower bag too. I don't even use it. I would just clip it and let it mulch back in. Uh, multiple height adjustments are included with this and you will love it. Like I said, if you've got a small or medium lawn, it is perfect for that. It's got lots of great features that you'll love and a lot of features that you don't want, that you don't want to deal with. My favorite feature, uh, in addition to the great results, is how easy it is to start. No more pulling, no pumping, no priming the pump. All I do, there's two buttons to hit. You have the safety button on the side and you squeeze. That's as loud as it gets, all right? That is as loud as this mower gets. It's one-handed. If you could see how easy I can cut this grass, one-handed mowing, I mean 20 pounds in your hand and it really does an amazing job. We've got some uh, fresh grass up here and we're getting down to uh, our older uh, grass, but this is actually good for the grass. It'll allow the new grass to grow. But you can see what kind of job it does. I don't have to worry about uh, harsh blades under there. It's all string cut and it does it in a great, great way. 109 is the price, 36.65, but turn it off. That's all you do is release the handle, you're good to go. 20 pounds, 
Can you do that with your lawnmower? Probably not. <laughs> um, maybe you're hiring somebody to do your grass for you and paying 30, 40, 50, $100 a month. You don't have to do that for hundred bucks. You could own your own mower. I want to check in with my good buddy, Peter Kilcullen. He's at the <laughs> Kilcullen uh, family estate and he's getting That's ready right. to cut some grass. Hey buddy. Hey guy, you're doing a great job there with the Earthwise lawnmower. I mean, you said everything exactly right. Super easy, and that's what we want. You've got that quarter acre, that small yard, maybe it's just a small backyard. You wanna be able to plug it in, start it up so quick, and then you were doing it the other day, guy, with one hand. It is so easy. And, and what I think is so cool, when you, when you start this up and get going, and obviously, <laughs> here we go. I'm, technical difficulties already here at home <laughs> with the power. You believe that guy? But here's here's what I want to show everyone, is that not only is it lightweight, easy to use, that no matter what you do, you talked about it, whether you want to use it with the grass catcher or you want to use it with the mulching plug, you're gonna be able to do that and it is super lightweight and easy to do. It really is the way to go yeah. when it comes to mowing you know, a small yard. Yeah, and I love that it comes with the grass catcher. Um, I don't use it on mine, but you can utilize it on yours if you'd like to keep it neat and tidy. A lot of people who, who, who don't want to have to deal with anything or haven't cut their grass in a while, <laughs> then they use the catcher. But I do my right. grass about once a week, so I never have to worry about that. If you do, you can always mulch that later. But Peter, you know what's funny is what's missing on here are all <laughs> the different valves and all the different, uh, you know, uh, uh, screw tops and, and all the things that you get. You you don't like about a regular mower there's nothing on here all that's built into this is a great um, um 120 volt motor the grass catcher right. and then a way to elevate it it, it doesn't need anything else because it's all electric there's no priming literally push the button on the side and you give it a squeeze and that's all that you need to do if you want to see the path of it it is a uh, it's a 14 inch so that's why we say to you if you have a smaller property it's ideal i mean you're not going to go out and mow five acres of property with this it's not for you but if you have a small lawn or maybe you're in an apartment and you know in an area where you know they don't you know they, they only come every two weeks or you don't like the job they're doing you want to do your own area a lot of people have their own little putting greens things like that whatever you want to do you can get out there and you can do it yourself and you can do it when you want it i know i had an offer for somebody to cut my grass and it was 50 bucks a shot twice a month i'm like it's 100 bucks it probably takes 11 minutes to cut my grass. So I went out and I, I got a little compact mower, best decision I ever made. It doesn't wake up the neighbors. I mean, you can cut the grass anytime. I think you, did you get, finally get yours plugged in, Pete? Uh, absolutely. And you know what, when you hear it fired up, you're thinking, can this really work and cut the grass? And I know you were cutting a lot of grass with it. It really does the job. It is so simple and lightweight. You are gonna love it. So if you want something easy, this is definitely it. And I love that as soon as I let go, that bail arm releases and it turns itself off. But you're never gonna have to worry about how am I gonna start this again? Guy, I know you remember, you'd have to put your foot up on there and you'd be pulling and pulling to try to get that lawnmower started. At the beginning of the season, it was difficult. You'd have to make sure you had gas and oil and, and mix it and all that. Here it is. I'll spin this around because it makes it easy now that I've got this all working and plugged in properly. You just hit that button right there and then hit that bail arm and you're set to go. You let go, it stops. You wanna start it up again. Again, super easy to get it started. Just plug it in, and that was what I was missing. Once it's plugged in, you can't go wrong. I mean, look how easy that is. Easy to push. You've got six inch wheels in the front. You've got eight inch wheels in the back. And I'll show you that with just, with the four wheels, there's just one lever in the front that allows you to raise the entire mower up. So I remember you used to have to adjust each wheel individually, but here you can do it with just that one. You pull it in, pull it out, and lift it up to where you want. I don't want to go too low on the lawn, so move right. that up, and that's all it takes. Now, with the bag in the back, what I thought about, I thought that was something new and something I've not seen before, is that you have that hard shell on the top, which it allows you to have a handle, so I can grab that handle and release that. And look at this guy, just in that short amount of time. Yeah. There's the grass that we did, and I only did a very small area. Now, if you don't want to use the grass catcher, which is fine, as you said, maybe your grass is longer in the beginning, use the grass catcher, catch all that grass. But then after that, when you're mowing on a regular basis, all you do is lift this up, and the, the mulching plug goes in the back, and then that allows it to continually chop that grass a little bit finer, and then it just falls down into the, into the lawn. 
and you don't have to worry about it. So that, can you imagine, look at this now, how small, how lightweight this is. We have an adjustable handle. When you wanna put this away, you can even loosen these knobs, fold the handle over so it's even smaller when you talk about storing this. This is for everyone who just doesn't need the hassle anymore of gas, they don't need the hassle of trying to start it each and every day or having it not start. This is fast, it's easy, you will love it. You know what's great too, Peter, is that if you do have kids that are growing up and a lot of times you're real hesitant about putting them in uh, you know, charge of a combustion engine, um, you, this is a great mower for them to get started on too because as we said, you don't have the big giant steel blades under there, you, you don't have a lot of the other issues. I mean, it's still a, a, a machine and obviously watch your kids when you're teaching them how to do chores. But this one, even for seniors out there that do, do not want to push around a big heavy mower, let alone have to lift it into a garage where, and you know, Peter, anybody that's got a mower, you're gonna have stains on your garage floor, right? You're gonna have oil, you're gonna oh, have gas. Yeah. It always happens. No oil, no gas. Plug it in, works every time. No warm ups, no pulling of any kind of a chain to get it to start. You know, I, I mean, my, my last mower, you know, I burned it out because I didn't know, I, I, I forgot to put oil in it. You know, I, it, you just, it, it's hard to keep track of all that stuff and it's hard to do. I mean, you still gotta go to the gas station, you gotta, you gotta get a container, you gotta bring it back, and if the container leaks, you got gas in your garage. Never have to worry about that. Plus, Pete, this is so much easier to store. We get people that, that have owned this that are like, I got two hooks on the wall, I just hang it on the wall, it only weighs 20 pounds, that way it's up off the floor. You would never do that with a regular mower, but having that is easy. And all you need, Pete, right, is, is an extension cord. That's it, right? Yeah, that was Exactly, with all the Earthwise items, all you need is your extension cord. And you know, I, I think you remember when we were kids, maybe you thought you had to have that gas-powered mower because you wanted that power, and if it was electric, it wasn't gonna work. That's totally not the case anymore. Now, these mowers really do a great job. So it doesn't matter what type of grass you have. It doesn't matter you know, what you're trying to do with the mower. It really works. Look at that, it actually picked up all that grass that I had already cut and then dumped. So it works for any type of grass, any type of lawn. So the power's there, even though you can hear it and it doesn't sound like that big, loud, gas-powered mower, you are still going to get the results. And that's the most important yeah. thing. Earthwise has done it. They've made these tools, these perfect lawn and garden tools for the jobs that you're actually doing at home. Sure, you don't have a lawn service. I get it. You have a quarter acre at home. This is going to be the perfect mower because well, it's lightweight yeah. and very easy. And Pete, it's like whether it's a pressure washer or a, or a chainsaw, Earthwise makes these user friendly because the hard Absolutely. part about those products, and Peter knows as well as I do, and I've used them, right? I've, I've used a full-size chainsaw, all that stuff. The difference is not only the weight, but the maintenance of it, and it, 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 it's more than you need. This is exactly. perfect for doing the job you need to do. And again, I'll turn it on and I want you to hear, listen to that sound, it purrs. I mean, that is, that is electric power. Consistent, reliable, take my hand off, quiet. No, uh, no chemicals going into the atmosphere, which is another big thing. If you've got a regular mower, you are polluting the air. It's another great thing, uh, which is why the company's called Earthwise uh, in the beginning. Peter, great job. Appreciate you. All your help, buddy. Thanks, guy. All right, we'll see you soon. Appreciate you. Thanks, buddy. All right, see you All soon, right, too. $27.49 Thanks. $27.49 comes with a two-year warranty. And again, you get a lot of bang for your buck with this little guy. It's going to get the job done. All right. We are moving into our flower section of the show, and I'm gonna give you fair warning that the hibiscus will sell out. If you want one, get it now. There you are, sorry, I'm looking over there. Uh, it, it, get one before it sells out. No More Bugs, incredibly popular, $36. It works like magic. It smells amazing. Put it on the pets, put it on the children. Put it on your feet, on your sandals, on your backpack, on your shoes. Put it on your mattress, pillows, furniture. It's, it's pest control that lives with you. It smells like beautiful woodsy cedar. You know when you go on a hike, that beautiful fresh clean smell? It fades over time. You can put this right on your skin, put it around your pet's neck, put it on your kid's um, walking shoes, put it on your, on your backpack. Whatever it is that you're gonna be taking out so outside, use it and then inside spray it around all the thresholds spray it around um you know like the the sliders spray it on your pet bed in and around cracks and crevices and corners spray it anywhere you can 
and just enjoy it. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. I'm giving you 32 ounces. It's the super concentrate. You mix a little with water for maintenance. If you see bugs, use it straight. We give you a little travel size bottle to go with it as well. All right, we're moving on. Um, I'd have to say, Doug, out of any of the flowers I've ever gotten, this is my favorite. This is our braided hibiscus. I mean, it's tough because I've also got these roses that are pretty too, but the hibiscus is the most bang for your buck. This is one of the flowers that we picked off and I want to show it to you right here. Just one of them. Look at how gorgeous this is. Beautiful little tendrils inside. Look at the, the little hints of pink. And this is just the yellow. You're getting three separate trees woven together to give you a display of fireworks like you have never seen before. It's, it's the, the one plant always, everybody comments first when they come to my house. They're like, where, where did you get that? And I'm like, I got it at HSN. Uh, this is probably about, uh, maybe probably year two, I would say. This is what it, how it grows. When you get it, I want, I want to show you because it's probably, Doug, I'd say it's probably the most advanced one that we, that we ship out. And uh, guess what? Free shipping. This comes in a very big box. This is what I got. All right, look at how beautiful the braiding is done. It's very artistic. And look at how much foliage is already on this. And look, 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 if you look inside, this is, a, this is what, look at, there's a bud. See it? <laughs> They're already starting. You will have flowers right out of the gate within a week or two, maybe even less than that. These are $59. I would pay $159 for mine. Actually, maybe more than that now, because mine is as big as this one. But this is what you get. You get all the leaf and petal information in a little pamphlet that tells you what it needs, how much watering, whether it needs a little fertilizer. I fertilize mine probably you know, what, once every week or two. Just put a little of the, uh, of the uh, leaf and petal plant food. It is beautiful. It will sell out, no doubt. Um, it is, uh, like I said, lots of bang for your buck. And we have the wonderfully talented Rochelle Grayer all the way up there in Boston, Skyping in. Rochelle, you know how much I love this, right? Oh, I love it too, yeah. <laughs> this one is, um, this one just makes me happy because I don't get to come down to Florida right now because of everything going on. And so now I have like a little bit of Florida here uh, with me. And, and to be honest, like you said, this thing is big. I mean, I can't even fit it. I'm sitting at my desk. This is how it comes, packed in the plastic so it keeps its moisture. But look at this. I mean, it's like touching the ceiling and then all the way down. And mine, I just got it out of the box. It's got blooms on it. I got one a few weeks ago. It was already blooming in the box. It had this big, beautiful pink flower. It's fantastic that you literally order this in the mail and suddenly you get like the trucks. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just like, it's amazing. And these are really, really substantial plants. And like you said, what it is is actually three hibiscus. They're braided together by our artisan horticulturalists. And uh, so what you're really getting is like three trees. So that's how you get the three different colors on the, on the hibiscus. I have a couple of these. I'm putting them in containers. Oh, by the way, you do want to uh, transplant these right away when you get them. They do want a bigger container than what they come in. They come yeah. in about, what is that a one gallon, two gallon, um, uh, but put it in like uh, at least one or two size bigger container yeah. because that'll make it easier for you to water it and keep it healthy. It likes yeah. to have a lot of water. So I, I uh, put mine in a five gallon when I got it. Yeah. And, and you know what? I did too. It, it loves yeah. it. It loves the five gallon container because then it'll grow. I mean, you, obviously it needs more room. I mean, you know, you've got three separate plants in there that are woven together, but that's exactly. just a tip that we'll give you if you're going to go, there's mine. And you see, that's a five gallon container. Um, that was a while back. It's so funny. Every day it's different. Like, like yesterday, I had probably 12 different blossoms on mine. All right. The yeah. one that we have here has probably got 20 on it. But yeah. look at how beautiful the colors are. And uh, Rochelle, the size of the blossoms, right? Oh, they're fantastic. They're so colorful and bright. They're going to make, you know, if you've got a shady patio, these are going to be fine in some shade. They'll be fine in the sun. They're going to draw in the hummingbirds. And whatnot. those big, beautiful flowers are a real focal point for, you know, wherever you put it. Uh, I, I have mine on the patio. I think it's just so lovely to, you know, kind of create this whole surrounded feeling of, of plants in my patio. I kind of like to feel like, you know, I've landed myself in Florida, even though I'm up here in Boston. <laughs> I, that's awesome. Um, oh, so, look at uh, that. Look at the next oh, shot. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 
I, I just think, and there, and the thing that's so amazing about these, <coughs> excuse me, is how out of the box amazing they are. Yeah. Um, you know, I, oh, and I do want to tell you too. So I have a couple of these. If you are up north, like I am, you can overwinter these in your house. Um, they are perfectly happy as house plants as well. Just get them in that bigger pot. And then when it starts to get colder, because these are not cold hardy, you're not going to want to leave them out all winter. Don't put them in your garage or anything. Literally just bring them in your house. These are going to be great in your living room as well. Uh, they're, they're lovely yeah. all year round. That's, that's why I say get, get a really nice container for it because you are going to probably bring it inside, um, yep. you know, in the colder months. Um, I don't have to do that here in Florida. Mine pretty much no. grows year round. But it's interesting because in the winter, it kind of goes a little bit less in the winter because, you know, we get some temperatures in the 50s here. We get temperatures in the 30s and 40s here, too. But I never have brought it inside. So it's, it's relatively hardy. But if you're up north, you want to bring it in. Bring it in yep. like one of your kids. You're going you're gonna to love it. And then remember, you're going to get that. If you keep it in an area where you get lots of sun, you know, you're going to get these beautiful blossoms throughout the year they are really really gorgeous um, and and the fact that they did three and we braided them down below it just adds that extra punch and makes it a great if you can only have space you know Rochelle I would say for one beautiful plant like this then this is the one to get because you really get a lot it, it, and and I haven't really done much with maintenance with mine I mean I water no. it really need to i mean maybe once the flowers the flowers come and go really quickly yes. um kind of almost like daylilies they they, they last uh, a day, day or two and yep. then another one throws out so it's constantly new ones those uh buds will drop off so you'll probably want to pick those up but um if you you know want to and you know messy don't want the mess of that but it's i mean even at that they're not like gross they don't stain your patio or anything like no. that they're just they're just they close up actually and uh, and then just drop off um so um they're they're very easy i have never done anything to mine except for water it and fertilize it yeah and it is completely happy and yeah. i want to say too even when it goes into that dormant sort of phase in the winter if it's not blooming that's what we call it standards uh which is where you have it's like the the foliage on a stick right like a, a popsicle look that's such a classic design look you know it's it's um it's just so kind of sophisticated people want that all the time whether it's um other you know myrtles or bays or you know all kinds of things we grow that in the horticultural industry in the standard form because just even without all the blooms that looks so pretty of just foliage in a ball oh on gosh, top of the stick it. it's so nice yeah and, it, and like you said it's the tropics you you bring the tropics in you know we're spending so much time at home it sure is nice to have a little bit of the tropics inside we're going to be putting our left counter up pretty soon because i know we're getting down in quantity we had about 700 of these remaining to start our show i'm not sure what we have left but i know we're getting down really kyle less than 200 is that what oh. you said? Wow. All right, so these are going quick. If you want to get it, don't wait. Grab them now. They're going to come to you. Everything is shipping out right now, and we pay for the shipping. Or I should say uh, Leaf and Petal will we'll cover you. You're good to go. So free shipping and handling only $19.98 to get it home. You have our 90 days uh, warranty. You got year warranty on, on everything else. I Like I said, I, I, I don't really do much to mine, although mine has gotten so big. I do water it almost every day. But I there are you, you guys all know I go up to Vermont skiing. I don't water it for a week. Luckily, we get some, if we get some rain, we're fine. But it, it, it's really hardy. It'll you know it won't be it won't be happy about it, but it'll it'll get through it. So you don't have to baby it. If you want something this beautiful, I, I would say get it. There's mine, and that was that was probably three months ago when it just started getting some new blossoms. A week later, there was probably 12 on there. That's that's yeah. how it does because it'll it'll and I love it because it, I know like the little buds come out and I wonder if they're going to open that day or the next day. But there's <laughs> always there's always one going off or two. They're always opening yeah. up, and then like uh, Rochelle said, they usually will last the day. Uh, they take about a day or two to drop off by themselves, or you can just top them. And I throw mine right out into the garden and yeah. let them mulch in. But I mean, look at that display and imagine that out on your deck or patio or maybe tuck somewhere in the front of your yard. I mean, they're just, they're just beautiful. They really are, Rochelle. I, you know, I, I, they really are so pretty. I always, uh, when I'm out in the garden, I like to pick things. And, and you know, if I see one, I'm, I just like to wander around the garden with one tucked behind my ear. It makes me feel a little festive, <laughs> you know? They're just, they're just such happy, pretty flowers. 
for your garden. Uh, there's, there's, they're big, they're bigger than any other flower you're gonna get on any other plant, um, excluding the hydrangea, which is, you know, actually like uh, hundreds and hundreds of little flowers altogether. These are just these big fireworks of flowers that are just so happy and beautiful and eye-catching. You just cannot go wrong with this one. Yeah, and this gives you an idea how big it is. I'll stand behind it. And this is what you can expect <laughs> in year two. All right, yeah. and remember, you're getting a very substantial plant to start that'll probably already have buds in it. It might be flowering in the box. That's how ready they go out yep. to everybody at, a, at the same time because we are in growing season everywhere in our country right now to get these. So, um, I mean, unless you have s some lingering snow outside where you can keep it in till, till it clears away, but we're, we're shipping them out now. $19.98. Rochelle, don't go anywhere because, man, we got that hydrangea coming up. I can't wait for that. It's a good one. Oh, my goodness. It's so beautiful. Um, quick reminder, the patio lights, very popular. If you want to get a light for outside with no plugs, no cords, with a dimmer and timer built in on the remote control, that will last 23 hours on a charge at high setting. I mean, I would have thought eight hours would have been good at high. 23 hours on the high setting is what you will get with that. Up to a week if you use it on the lower setting. And the fact that you can dim it, I've never seen any exterior lights like this where you actually can dim them, but they're dimmable bulbs and they're LED bulbs, which makes it even better because they just sip power. That's why they last so long. They never get hot. Is it impervious to weather? Can we show that shot where it's raining on it? <laughs> Look at that. It's rain. It's sunbrella material. That'll last forever. And it's beautifully made with real iron. It's gorgeous. It's 129.95, uh, 711533. Look how pretty that looks outside at night. And you can adjust it. You can use it as a table lamp, take one of the poles out, add the pole for a floor lamp, or you can actually take the top off and you can hang it on a chain or on a shepherd's hook, whatever you want. All right, what's next? Oh, all right. So you need to get in close on this one. This is our vanilla strawberry hydrangea. So. You know, not all hydrangea are the same. This one is particularly beautiful and particularly good if you like cuttings because you can actually trim one of these off and put it into a vase. They go through this metamorphosis. They start off sort of a creamy vanilla color and then they kind of change to pink and then they finish out at the bottom there. You'll see they go this deep strawberry color. These are $24 and change, free shipping and handling on them. 722391, if you're a hydrangea fan, look at, look at them after they're established for a couple of years, look at the size. And look at those compact little flowers. Again, a lot of bang for your buck here. Um, these are extremely hardy. They grow everywhere. They're perfect for beginners who can't grow stuff, you don't have a green thumb, buy one of these, because they are very forgiving. And they bloom uh, in summer right through the fall. Rochelle, what a pretty plant. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I have one uh, that I planted out, um, I have a barn, uh, in front of the barn a few years ago, and I it's kind of set away, so I completely ignore it, and I can see it from my house. It's that gorgeous, and it is that big. These are gonna get to be about six to seven feet tall, about four or five feet wide. They're great as a uh, back of the border anchor. They're also really great if you want multiples to create a hedge. These are super low maintenance. Uh, the thing I love about these, a lot of people um, struggle with hydrangeas or think they struggle with hydrangeas because uh, some hydrangeas bloom on the old wood. So the branch grows out and then the next year it blooms. These only bloom on new wood. So whatever's growing out this year is what's gonna bloom. So what happens happens when you have old wood is sometimes those branches get damaged over the course of that two-year cycle and then they don't bloom. So new wood uh, blooming hydrangeas like this one, uh, you get really reliable blooms. Like, I mean, and I live in Boston. It's a borderline zone five. It gets real cold here. I get blooms like crazy. And the thing even looks beautiful right now because the blooms that I left on there, they just dry so prettily right on the shrub. I, I mean, and they look great even in the spring with all these dried flowers on them. They're 
they age from um, white when they come out with these little bit of pink. And then you can see kind of on the on the one you've got there where it starts to fade to this rosy uh, pink color over the course of the season. It is absolutely gorgeous. It looks great in the spring, looks great in the fall. It, those blooms carry, they're really long lasting. They'll start, I said, I said spring. It looks, it's gonna look great in the spring because it's green. It'll start blooming in July and then it'll carry on through. Um, and what you get, you get this very nice healthy plant. Um, it's, uh, you know, about 18 inches tall right out of the box. Uh, this will take a couple years when I put this in the ground. I, I won't expect this to bloom until at least next year. Uh, it does need some time to throw out its roots. Uh, but this is, I mean, if you're looking for a problem solver for a hedge or screening or uh, low maintenance back of the border, something that you can put other beautiful plants in front of and just fill some space this is it. Uh, this is just such an easy, easy choice of a plant and, and just reliable like you would not believe. Nothing bothers it either. Yeah. Oh, and one other, you know, quick tip. If you, you prune this, um, so the recommendation is to prune if you want to prune, maybe like a third at a time. You can even prune it a little bit harder than that. And I've played around with mine. If you prune it a little harder, it throws out even bigger blooms, which is kind of crazy. I don't know why it does that, but if you want massive blooms, and when I say massive, like they cover my whole entire face. Yeah. They're just look, well, look, at, look at the size of these. I mean, they, they, these, these are really, really big and they start out in a softer color and then they gradually turn that color. 722391, Rochelle, we have to mention the day lilies and spend some yeah. time on them. So I'm gonna walk over here because these are always a customer favorite. I, I was surprised we had them back in stock for the show, but you're gonna get three separate varieties. You're getting three. You get the little gray pet, you get the early snow, and you get the black thorn. All three varieties, these thrive anywhere in the U.S. They're an incredible value. Is that really $18 today? So they're only $17.95 with free shipping and handling. If you love lilies, and I know a lot of people have, have lilies are very dear to them, this is a great way. But look at the colors that you're going to get with the purples and the and that beautiful yellow and, and oh my gosh, just every color of the rainbow. Look right. at all the look at all the buds that are getting ready to blow up on here. Seventeen ninety five. Go, Rochelle. Let you go. We got about two and a yeah, half minutes. Yeah. I mean, I picked this collection because I was coordinating these colors and they are such beautiful colors. I love the little gray bed. It's that deep, dark purple with the yellow center. And then the other one you have the yellow on the outside and the purple in the inside. So they go so well together. And then the white to me is just such an elegant, classic beauty of a flower. It goes with anything and makes everything around it look great. But if you plant the three together, I mean, it's just, um, you know, if you love daylilies, this is kind of like next level sophistication of color. Uh, this is how they're gonna come. They'll be this rootstock. You cannot go wrong with these. These are so easy to grow. Literally, if you plant the thing upside down, you are not going to kill it. It will come and it will return for uh, decades, to be honest. These yeah. live forever. I love uh, that they part. They get bigger and bigger clumps. And, uh, you know, a few years from now, if it gets big enough, you could split it, share it with your friends, put them elsewhere. They are just such easy, low maintenance. Uh, I mean, if you are just getting started gardening, daylilies are the way day to lilies. go. Yeah. You cannot go wrong with them. Um, they want full sun. They're going to be tolerant of part shade. Yeah. Uh, they grow in terrible soil they grow in really <laughs> nice soil i know they, they do. are hardy all the way down to zone three you know, you know what's funny yeah. it's funny because uh, whoever owned my house before me put daylilies in because they come up every year yeah. and i'm always amazed at like i'm like how do these live here they're, they're in areas of, like near near trees and i'm like how do these things grow? I don't do anything and they just come back year after year. Yeah. And, and you know what? They're almost that, they're that sign of spring, right? That sign yeah. of spring and summer. And they're so pretty and they're such survivors to your point. They are, I mean, you know? really survivors. I have mine at the end of the driveway, a lot of them, a huge yeah. amount of them that the previous owners to my house planted there. And I, I can't bear to tear them out because those things, that's where the snowplow guy puts like literally, you know, snow mountain shows up every winter and it sits yeah. on that, doesn't come off until it's the very last thing I've had. Love them. May when that <laughs> snow's still there and then I, that snow melts and here are these green shoots. Beautiful. It's just 
All right, Rochelle, we got to move. We got to run on, but we appreciate you. I will see you for my uh, Guy in the Garden show this coming week on Friday. I think we still have flowers, uh, but yeah. hopefully I'll see you then. Not too late to pick up hibiscus if you want to pick that up. Uh, you guys keep shopping. Alice is coming your way next. I'll see you later on the week for Guys in the Garden. See you then. Food has always been my passion, but the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for our HSN. It makes the prep easy, and it also makes the cooking a whole lot of fun. From my kitchens to your tables. <laughs> Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. I feel brave and beautiful when I'm supported. I learned that most when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. With the right help, I was able to work and feel like myself again. Cancer in Career supports people continuing to work after a cancer diagnosis. You can help by shopping Beauty with Benefits on HSN and QVC. Find the beauty you love from these amazing brands and support this great cause. Plus, you'll receive a gift valued over $200 